Almost perfect weather tonight in the FM area. We have beautifully blue skies, very light winds, temperatures, we'll call it comfortably cool as things try to correct themselves back to close to average. For this time of the year, we typically see highs in the low 80s. Right now, it's 77 degrees. We have dew points in the 40s, so the air is very dry and the wind remaining light under 10 miles per hour. And in Grand Forks, mostly sunny, 77 degrees, 36% relative humidity. A little bit more of a breeze with gusts approaching 20 miles per hour. The wind from the south southwest. The warmest weather for Langdon and for Devil's Lake. And Langdon this morning, you started out at 39, so that is a 40 degree warm up today. That's impressive. 77 degrees in Oaks right now, low 70s in Lakes Country, Roseau 73. And here's a look at clear skies for our entire viewing area, highlighted here by the White County outlines. Now we do see increasing clouds and some showers and a couple of rumbles of thunder in Manitoba. These are approaching Brandon now. They're about 100 miles away from our northernmost counties, Towner County, Cavalier, and Pembina County. We'll have the chance at seeing that. Let's get to your hour by hour forecast. Tonight, across most of our area, including Lakes Country, the Red River Valley, and out to the west in the Cheyenne River Valley. Very quiet. Increasing clouds, though, in places like Rock Lake and La uh, the Langdon area. I have a chance for a shower or a thunder shower as we go through the late night hours. I pause this at 1 in the morning. Notice how any shower or thunder shower chances will skirt the border. I don't anticipate any severe weather tonight, but some brief heavy rainfall a possibility as we go through the wee hours of the morning. This may run into a little bit more moisture, but we saw dew points in the 40s. There's not a lot of available moisture out there. Notice this, start your day temperatures 55 to 60. That's a nice warm up over this morning's temperatures to start the day. The rain is out of here. Wind increases. Tomorrow we'll have a few gusts over 20 miles per hour and the temperatures will be rising very high back to average or above average. By the midday hour, we'll be seeing temperatures rising from the upper 70s to the upper 80s out west. A shot at a 90 degree temperature for our westernmost counties. Cheyenne, New Rockford, Jamestown, you'll have a chance out there. And our model's popping up some 90s here. We can't rule that out, but suffice it to say, summer returns tomorrow. Lakes country, a lot of a low to mid 80s for you. South winds so will cause a few white caps on the waters from time to time. Late in the day, a few clouds in the northwest, but by and large, quiet weather into the evening. Your Friday planner for Fargo tomorrow morning, 55 as opposed to 43 to start the day. That's a warmer springboard temperature. We'll be near 80 already in the lunch hour. Gustier south winds, a few clouds for your Friday evening, but dry weather and warm weather to close out our work week. Elsewhere, 90s, a shot of that out to the west in the Jamestown area. 80 to 85 in the Langdon area. Temperatures as warm as 86 in Thief River Falls and in Crookston. 81 for Detroit Lakes tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Gorgeous sunrises and sunsets, and the sun sets very red and golden thanks to a lot of fire particulates out there. And Wow, speaking of golden, the barley harvest continues. This was near Sterling out west. Justin, thanks for sharing your planning forecast. Looks like this. Temperatures stay summer-like on Saturday. Not quite as much sizzle, but the wind will be gusty. A cold front moves through, and late in the day Saturday, it will have a chance at scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some could be severe. Hail and damaging wind will be the primary threats. And look at that. Back down in the 60s for most of us on Sunday for a cool close to our weekend and start to the work week. Back to school forecast. Next week for college students and area elementary and high school students will be heading back with temperatures rebounding. More summer-like weather next week. Just in time for school to start nice and warm. Indeed. All right, thanks, yep. Hutch. Well, later in sports, the Bison football team stronger this week on defense. Who's back to play a key role? But first, one local kid will soon be driving a new set of wheels.